Hey YouTube, what's up? So, I've had one of these little Android smart TV boxes. It is pretty old. I've had it for quite a while. That is the box that it came in. These were some of the features on it. Basically, you just throw Kodi on it or any other apps so you can watch TV. The one we had, this one, was accidentally, a different plug was accidentally plugged into it and I heard a little pop. So it doesn't show up on the screen anymore and all it does is turn from red to blue. Nothing will show up on the screen so I'm going to attempt to fix it. Uh, my dad also had one of these. I don't remember what his problem is, but I don't know. What I plan to do is see if there's any blown up pieces in this that I can remove from the bad board and put it on my board. That's what I'm going to attempt to do. So if you want to see that, then here we go. Comes apart pretty easy. There's also another version of this that we are using right now, but they're all, they all have different names, but all the insides are the same. And I was thinking if I could get this one to work, I could use it down here to watch or listen to stuff while I do stuff and things. As long as I don't break it trying to get it out. There we go. And everything on here is tiny. That's what it looks like up close. And I think I found it. I'm gonna switch lenses so hopefully you can see what I'm looking at here. I'm gonna attempt to point at it. You can see that little bump on there. That is what popped. So I'm going to attempt to replace that. So we'll see what happens. Ready? Go. Okay, so I will attempt to pull it off the bad board first, which these look okay. I don't know how the hell I'm going to get that off of there, but we'll give it a try. Okie doke. So what I'm going to do is desolder these pins if I can. I don't even think my soldering iron will fit in there. Well, I guess we'll find out. I am going to douse it. If I had a smaller tip, I would use it, but I don't. Is it gonna work? Well, I got it off. Might as well shoot for the other one real quick while I'm here too, huh? Alright, I've got two of them off. Is this going to be worth it? <laughs> Probably not. Look how small that thing is. It's like a tick. Alrighty. That's the bad one. I don't know if you can see the little dot on it.
Well, it appears to be soldered on there. I guess I'll plug it in and see what happens. Alright. Alright, I'll set this here. So when we plug it in, make sure you are looking right here on this guy. Alright. One, two, three, corn tech. Ooh, we have a blue light. And no explosions yet. Okay, I'm going to unplug it and plug it into the TV over here. Oh wait, look at that. It is working. Some bitch. All right, so this hasn't worked in like three years. I can't believe that actually came off in one piece and went on the other one in one piece. Uh, password, password, password. What's my password? Okay, a few minutes later, I remembered my password and we're connected to the universe now. Uh, let me go to home. It's probably an old version of Cody now. Yep, 14 Helix. But, I wonder if it'll work. Oh, we got Genesis in there. Uh, let's see. Alright, well, I'm going to see if I can update this. I'm attempting to update to at least 16.1. Uh, this is since it's an old version or an old Android smart TV box with an old Android operating system. I don't think it'll support the newest 17 Krypton. Okay, so I updated Cody to 16.1. Okay, so I will shut this off and I need to fix the time because it's an hour later than what it says. It says 2.21 a.m. and it's actually 3.21 a.m. So I'll shut this off and then I'll put it back in its little box. So again, the little guy that I changed is that big. I'll just measure it. How about that? The width. 2.87 millimeters. The other direction is 1.8 millimeters. And thickness, 0.96 millimeters. So it's tiny. Damn tiny. And I'll try to zoom in on the actual part that I did replace on the board here. Okay, I apologize if this gets a little shaky. Um, I've got a tripod that is about two inches away well, the camera lens is about two inches away from this board, so it might get a little shaky. But this is to show you that an average Joe with a regular soldering iron can change tiny, tiny components on a circuit board and have it be pretty successful. Okie doke. Well, I guess I could put it back in its box now. Yeah, I was too cheap to buy a new one. And there you go. We'll plug it in one more time and make sure it still works. Alright, well there you have it. If you guys have a Android Smart TV box and you happen to plug in the wrong power supply, uh, you can fix it at home. Hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, um, what, um, 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 but what I, and I was figuring, um, and, um, 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 was, is, um,